Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Monday, the 28th of September. Starting off with Alba Mineral Resources, which has been one of the more kindly stocks on the way up uh, over the recent past. I mean, you, they could, we've seen many stocks. Uh, uh, rally over the last few months, but uh, it's more the journey rather than the uh, magnitude of the rise which counts. Uh, here there was only one hiccup with the uh, peak through point uh, four two, and then coming back towards the point uh, three zone after that. But uh, since then, the last couple of weeks we've done uh, rather well, and uh, at least while we're above that uh, resistance line there from January at point four five pence, we're looking for further upside. Ideally and logically, we'd retest uh, 2018 resistance there, 0.65 over the next two to four weeks while we remain above 0.45 pence. Advanced Energy is a stock I'm particularly proud of, given that there was hardly any uh, charting furniture to look at, but uh, shares have managed to uh, behave themselves uh, pretty well. Uh, the current situation is that we are above the uh, neckline resistance the peak of june at 0.25 pence and while we're above that looking for the uh, projected uh, top of channel target as high as 0.4 pence over the next few weeks ideally uh, well before the end of october uh, on to uh, bluebird merchant which uh, continues to uh, bask in the glory of uh, funding news and the prospect of uh, being able to deliver on its uh, uh, business model let's say uh, breaking out of the uh, recent or the post-April um, trading range between 4 and 5 pence today uh, with a gap as well, which shows that uh, the stock means business. Uh, an end-of-day close above uh, the initial September peak of 5.12 pence should get the shares well on the way to the top of the rising trend channel from February, currently pointing to 9 pence as a target over the next four to six weeks, perhaps even managing to get there by or before the end of next month. Uh, Eco Atlantic was a situation which uh, looked as though it was going to rally uh, from mid-month, but we did come back to test uh, the 20 pence area one last time. Uh, what we're looking for now really is an end-of-day close through that uh, June resistance line around 22 and a half pence. So we can get that uh, today, tomorrow, etc., then uh, we should be on our way this time towards uh, the May resistance line projection at 35 pence, hopefully as soon as the end of the next month. And all of that valid while we hold above uh, near-term 20 pence support. Uh, Iconic uh, Labs is a stock which has divided the market rather uh, sharply over the recent past. Uh, had a nice nudge through the 0 0.02 uh, pence level today. And while we're above the 20-day line at 0 0.014 pence, we're looking for an eventual move towards the top of the uh, broadening triangle from May, currently pointing at 0 0.05 pence plus. At this stage, only really back below 0 0.01 pence, which is the obvious support over the near term, uh, really uh, delays the recovery argument. On to a stock which is a slightly different kettle of fish, and that's uh, Mother Care. Thought I'd just cover that now, just on the basis that uh, looks as though we're going to get a an end of day or the second end of day close of the month above the 200-day moving average at 9.57 pence. If we can get that, then hopefully by the end of uh, October we could hit the top of that rising trend channel from March at 16 pence plus. This stage only really back below the 20-day uh, moving average at eight and three quarter pence, really delaying the uh, recovery scenario and what is obviously. Uh, quite a uh, counterintuitive uh, buy situation on a fundamental perspective. Uh, today we've got uh, decent uh, contract news uh, from Open Orphan, uh, with shares peaking at uh, uh, just under 19 pence, or around 19 pence actually, off the back of uh, £4.3 million contract win. Uh, end of day close above uh, 19 and a half should be enough today, tomorrow, hopefully, uh, to get the shares up to the next target, which was a long-awaited target for the stock at a May resistance line projection, currently pointing at 24 pence, and hopefully we'll see that by the end of next month. Only back below Friday's uh, intraday support and uh, former initial September resistance at 16 pence, really delaying the upside scenario. Good to see Integamen recovering uh, well today. Uh, yesterday was rather sheepish about... Uh, uh, the, t the stock's technical abilities, but um, the uh, support coming in at 28 pence, so which is effectively a double bottom for September, and uh, the rebound, bear trap rebound from uh, just below the 50-day moving average at 31 pence is uh, 
work well for the shares. It should be enough to get the shares into the low 40s, even if we then fade again. But uh, while we're above the 50-day line, looking hopefully towards the early 50s is a best-case scenario now over the next week or two. This stage early and end of day close back below 20, 28 pence really delaying the uh, recovery uh, scenario after the rather horrible uh, rug pull that we saw uh, last week. On to uh, Savannah Energy where we're in the same sort of boat as we were with Advanced Energy. Not much of a chart to look at but it looks as though uh, near term consolidation for the shares between 7 and 9 pence is finally uh, finished and uh, at end of day close above 9 pence could be the trigger for a move towards the top of that uh, rising April trend channel at 14 pence plus over the next four to six weeks. This stage only back below seven and a half pence and the floor of the channel, uh, the 2020 channel, uh, really delays the upside scenario. Just a couple of stocks to go now. The first is a rather illiquid situation, but one which uh, seems to be um, uh, determined to uh, break out. Uh, here we've got uh, Tiger Resources. And uh, here you can see that uh, we've broken that line of resistance from 2017 around the 0.35 level. So an end of day close on a mid uh, mid uh, basis, mid price basis, above uh, 0.35 pence should be enough to uh, take us towards uh, 0.85, which uh, could be a one to two months target for the shares. Uh, this stage only really back below the 50 day moving average at 0.28, really delaying or cancelling the upside scenario. Uh, forgot to uh, include uh, Valorix yesterday in the um, bulletin board here, as maybe it was uh, uh, just as well, given the rather uh, volatile price action. It's done a little bit of a, an, a, an integument in terms of the uh, uh, share price action today in that we hit uh, that uh, resistance line projection from uh, the beginning of May, almost exactly at uh, 72, 73 pence, and have come back down to uh, rest on uh, what was formerly a, a, a trend line target at 48 pence. Uh, we'd, I, we'd either uh, like to see the shares uh, hold or close well above the 48 pence uh, level today. Uh, if they can do that, then hopefully we'll be back to 70 pence plus. Otherwise, probably a, a trip to the upper 30s would be the risk on an end of day close uh, back below 48 pence. But at the moment, uh, probably want to give the benefit of the doubt to the bull argument, uh, at least uh, given... Uh, the way that we've already come back a long way from the intraday high of uh, the session. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.